Okay, come on in, watch. Let's get ready to rumble. Yo, red line. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the NVM channel. Turn your volume up because we've got some fire pop madness. <laughs> So yes, today we've got this 2019 Audi RS3 and by the sound of the exhaust, you know what it is. It's a GPF modelled car. So yeah, with 400 brake horsepower, 600 newton meters from the factory. It's a 2019 DNW8 engine variant, very similar to the Dazza vehicles. We'll get it inside, show you the parts we're going to fit and tune the hell out of it. It was at this moment that he knew he f***ed up. I said, is that the hell? Yeah, it coming in wasp. Absolutely gorgeous colour, isn't it? It's got this purple fleck to it. I think it's called Panther Black. Way better than the flat black cars. Look at that. So first off we have this high flow NVM for maximum exhaust flow and <laughs> first off we have our brand new NVM heat shielded downpipe for the RS3 of course. I will leave the link below so you guys can have a look for yourselves. Next up we have the forge intercooler which is 150% times bigger than the stock one. It has a 55% larger frontal area and also has 94% more volume which is perfect for efficiency and performance. Then we have the forge inlet pipe and the forge arbor going into the car which adds power when it is needed making it also perfect for performance car like the RS3. So let's get them in the car, get them fitted, and then maps can start the mapping. We're gonna race them free. Your link man for your local intake shutter. <laughs> man on a block with the intakes. So here we have the wild mechanic. Now, in the wild, they assume they know what they're doing, but in reality, they f everything up. So come with me. Come. Have you done? Now, there's a very hostile mating call for the animal, and I'll do that mating call for you now. As you can see, I caught his attention. He's attracted a mate. <laughs> <laughs> So 
So, baseline runs 397 brake horsepower, 514 newton meters of torque. As you probably heard, the valves, exhaust valves don't open till 4K, so we'll sort that out in the calibration. And also, the wastegate's rattling like hell, and you can hear it flapping around before it gets to full boost. So, those are the things that we sort out in the calibration anyway. So, let's get tuning. The problem with these DNWAs are they don't come with overrun as standard because of the GPF. Now we've got the high flow downpipe on there, we can activate the overrun, take off the rev limit in park as well so you can rev it all out and listen to that burble. So yeah, it's moving in the right direction, 449 brake horsepower, 684 newton meters of torque, zero time and pull at this level and it sounds mint so we'll continue on. Add some more boost at the top end. I think these peak at about 6,000 RPM. So yeah, I've in increased that rev limiter a little. They do peak about 6,000 RPM, so there's no point in going past that on the stock turbocharger. But yeah, let's get some more. What happened there? <laughs> it's not happy at all. For whatever reason, it's over boosting like crazy. I'm only targeting like two bar of boost, and it's, yeah, it's going like 2.3. So I'm going to have to rescale the whole wastegate table and um, try and get a nice 500 brake, I think. That's how it should sound, isn't it? Final results guys, 518 brake horsepower, 740 newton meters of torque. I have put a limiter in there, a torque limiter at 750 newton meters because of the stock internals. But nonetheless, you can see the delta gain. Yes, it's about 120 brake horsepower at the peak, but it's about 150 in areas and it's crazy amount of torque low down. So let's get it on the road, let's see what it drives like and sign it off. Let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> It's funny because you know that glitch we had on the dyno, right? You never believe it. It's like this software version. It's one of the latest DNWA software versions. The manufacturers have changed all of the boost data. On purpose? They've changed it in areas that you wouldn't see on the stock pool. So it's, it's as if they've sabotaged the ECU. So when you lift the torque limiters and the load limiters and all of that, like, just gets we'll just target two and a half bar of boost. Can you believe that? Do you think that's to stop tuning? I think it might be, you know. It's moving it. There's no da 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 that people get. You know, you can always tell a car that ain't been tuned, well, an RS3 or a five part, that ain't been tuned properly. But it's on the road and it's making like a, a misfire noise. Everyone thinks it's a misfire, it's not, it's the actual wastegate rattle. This is nice and smooth. It's crazy because a lot of the content that we've been creating recently has been predominantly BMW. BMW right? that, yeah. We love these RS3s. Yeah, you need to, on these cars, you have to upgrade that intercooler. Like anyone going stage two with the stock intercooler is deaf. Like, and that inlet elbow, beautiful for helping the turbocharger spool. Oh. There goes Max. There goes Max. But then the first time they did it, you know, RS3s when they first came out, they did it as well. Basically, on the ignition table, right, they targeted like 50 degrees of ignition in areas that you tune. I've done that before. Woo! Yeah, yeah. See what she's all about, man. <laughs> Let's see what this clutch show's about. It's really warm today, really warm. Record. Red line. You know the rev limit on RS3 is so addictive. Like I've raised it to like 7,400 RPM. Mad. I think from factory it's like just Six, under seven. Yeah, yeah. Data logins for new maps. Can't even hold the camera straight, guys. Sorry. I 
you would have made a bit more power with it with the bigger intake. Stock airbox isn't the best, but bigger intake and maybe a full exhaust. This is just the stock RS3 exhaust, it's not the Addy Sport one. Addy Sport one has got different baffles inside, so it reduces back pressure even more. But um, as it is, man, look downpipe, intake pipe, intercooler, you gain that 120 horsepower. Yeah. No. Absolute rocket. And that right there is a wrap for the five pot madness. Hope everybody enjoyed this vlog. Don't forget to like, leave a comment below and subscribe. We have got another RS3 coming up in the channel soon with a stage three hybrid turbo. Stay tuned for that.